Well, a good day to you all. You join me here again working another late shift. And I'm driving a, a nice Volvo Evo City today. Just to let you all know, these are built uh, in Egypt. I do have a lot of respect for my job. It's something I've always wanted to do. Not that I've always wanted to be a London bus driver, it just so happens I came down after driving for over 10 years up north, so it's actually, it's actually nice to have become a London bus driver. The perks of the job, well you do get a free London bus pass, London bus travel, underground, overground, you know, the tube, the tram, Docklands Light Railway. I would say my best years of bus driving are actually driving buses in London because I get to drive double deckers again. Yeah, it's actually great to drive uh, double deckers. When I was up north, I didn't get to drive as many because a lot of the older ones were going to the scrapyard. There was a lot of single deckers coming on board. So it's actually nice to be driving double decker buses again. I have a lot of respect for the job. I'm the kind of person that likes to do an outdoors job. It's just something that I've always wanted to do, bus driving. Um, ever since I was a little boy, four or five years old, as I've said on previous videos, I always wanted to be a bus driver, but I know going through school it wasn't kind of the thing to do when you leave school. So much so that I wasn't even thinking I was going to become a bus driver. Um, it wasn't until I was travelling in Australia over 20 years ago that I found out an old school friend called Daniel became a bus driver. And so I decided to become a bus driver. Cheers, Dan. Cheers, Daniel. I really appreciate it. A lot of you might know Daniel bus driving up north. Uh, does a bit of truck driving now and again, but uh, he was kind of the the reason that made me think. You know what? I'm going to become a bus driver when I come back from travelling Australia. And at the time, I wasn't really enjoying jobs that I was doing. I wasn't really enjoying work. Did I want to become a train driver? No, not really. It's buses. I always wanted to be a bus driver. Train driver does pay very well, but um, I don't know. I just always wanted to be a bus driver. It was just one of them jobs I fancied doing, you know? I don't know. I just wasn't really ambitious enough to just do something I really wanted to do. I've never been that kind of person. I've never really been ambitious. I just fall into things, basically, you know? Yeah, 20 years, can you believe it? 20 years I've been doing this. <laughs> and this is something that I've always liked doing. I've always enjoyed it. And I'm glad I've tried to show my enjoyment and pass it on to you all over the last uh, five years. I'm glad some of you have picked up the mantle to uh, do videos as well on YouTube. There's the camera there. It's, quite, it's about 12 CCTV cameras on the buses actually. There's quite a few inside and quite a few outside, 12 in total. Looks like the dustbin trucks are still working. I've noticed that in Yorkshire, they don't usually work late at night, but I've noticed that the dustbin men work pretty late in London. But yeah, if you are somebody like me who kind of hasn't really been an ambitious person in life and just falls into stuff, bus driving might be the job for you. Might just be the job for you. I just kind of, I can't say I fell into it. I just needed a job coming back from Australia. And there's come a point in your life where you just got to get on with it and do something. And uh, I'm glad I was traveling Australia. It was really the best thing I actually did. And uh, when I was being interviewed in Uddersfield for bus driving, Obviously, I was quite different from everybody else because I'd been travelling for three years. Not not the whole three years, but I had been in Australia for three years and eight days. And I did miss England after two years. I was missing England, actually. I was missing e England. And, uh, yeah, London is completely different from Yorkshire. So it's actually been nice to have lived quite a few years in London. I could have done a lot more in London. I could have visited more places. I know I'm kind of a worker, me. I just seem to go to work. <laughs> I work a lot. Don't want to work too much. I'm not doing as much overtime at the moment, but yeah. But if you're the kind of person 
that doesn't mind working outdoors as well as indoors, this is the job for you. Whether you want to be a train driver or a bus driver, just do it. I'm thinking of uh, Nike adverts now. Just do it. <laughs> Whether you get to drive double deckers or single deckers, in London it's mostly mostly double deckers. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments section actually. But in London there are a lot of double decker buses. And uh, that's what I was missing up north when a lot of the older buses were going to the scrapyard and I was driving a lot of single deckers and I wasn't really enjoying that. Um, it's nice to drive minibus, medium sized buses which are midi buses, then there was the long single deckers and then there was the, the double deckers. Uh, I know Huddersfield and Halifax where I was working had a lot of older buses. I think we had the largest amount of Leyland Atlantean double deckers in the UK at the time. And uh, yeah, that was, that was quite interesting driving these old double deckers because a lot of them were they were slow and obviously single deckers were fast. But when we got some Leyland Olympian turbos from London, I think they were L-Reg, L26 GAN, L24 GAN, GAN number plate. And I think we got a few J-Reg and H-Reg Leyland Olympians. We had Northern Counties bodies and Alexander bodied ones. Can you hear the train down there? <laughs> Even though the window's shut, it's not fully shut. I remember the buses that I drove all had emergency exits where you'd open it up at the back and the buzzer would go off. But now, as you can see, you've got to uh, break the glass. You get quite a few of these down the sides of the bus, actually. I don't remember the lighting being as good. As you can see, there's only one set of lights there's only one set of lights and it's already nicely lit up the old buses they had these little lights i remember you had you had these small lights like little bars you know going down this is like one long light so bus lighting has got a lot better over the years actually it's really good uh, and as you and as i've demonstrated the leg room has got better as well buses were quite tight the seating the cushioning um, uh, the padding, well, they were quite padded years ago. Um, I'd say there's more graffiti on the buses years ago. That's my opinion, anyway. Um, but then again, I wasn't really driving buses in the north of England. Sorry, I wasn't really driving buses in London. So I don't know what it was like in London when it comes to gr to graffiti. As you can see, I've got a bit of a stutter. It's coming back, in it. But yeah, um, if you're that kind of person that's not being really ambitious... And you fall into things. Bus driving definitely is a good job. Uh, I cannot believe I've been doing it for nearly 20 years. It has absolutely flown by. So much so, I just don't think I'm going to stop bus driving. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I could do this another 20 years. Seriously, another 20 years? I'll be 62 then, won't I? Still a long way from pensionable age. I'll probably get collect my pension when I'm 70. So that's another 28 years to go. So yeah, uh, definitely give bus driving a shot if you're thinking about it. I know, looking at the comment section over... That's another train. <laughs> that's Farringdon for you. Yeah, um, I know a couple of comments that I've seen over the years. I think some of you want to become bus drivers. And maybe some of your parents have said, no, you're not going to become a bus driver. And that's because I know they probably you know, probably know better. Now, what I'm trying to say about this is that the conditions for bus driving, so many trains going through, the conditions for bus driving are not the best compared to other industries. I would say there are better jobs out there. But then again, for me personally, I've really enjoyed it. But the time goes by so fast, so quick. I cannot believe 19 and a half years I've been bus driving. I, I can remember being one of the young ones when I started. I'm not one of the older ones, I'm middle of the road now. A bit like some of the buses that, that I was actually driving. These new buses are nice, I'll be honest, it is nice to drive new buses. In London I wanted to drive new buses. Sorry, in, in, in Yorkshire I wanted to drive new buses and we never got them, we always got the old buses. So it's actually nice after nearly 11 years to be coming down here to drive hybrid buses for the first time which was amazing. Um, those were Alexander Dennis 61 plate, I think. Those were at Abelio, they still are. 
and it was just great to drive these hybrid buses and to drive double deckers again and to drive brand new buses it's, it's been great so the last 10 years i've been driving a lot of new buses so if you've stopped to think what do you want to do with your life you can take some time out go traveling if you're able to do so i'm glad i did it when i was younger um but uh definitely give bus driving a go it's worked for me and i managed to get a youtube channel going as well which wasn't expected wasn't expected at all and to be one of the first to do a bus driving youtube channel that's amazing well anyway i have a lot of respect for this job i really do and i know a lot of you do as well so as always thank you for watching this video it's september and it's still warm don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you all on another one bye bye for now see you later and if you do see me Give me a wave and a shout. See you later. Bye-bye.